Once every month, Acting Minister Chan Chun Seng meets with an average of 50 to 80 Singaporeans from all walks of life at the Bona Vista Community Club. He listens to residents and tries to help them understand government policies and the trade-offs and choices that have to be made. I would really hope that as Singapore evolves and matures as a society, we will have more robust discussion on the choices facing our country rather than superficial slogans about what to do. Because this country is too important, too precious for us to just leave it to slogans. This is Mr. Chan's 10th session. Bus driver is the next category. They are not exactly the bottom 20%. Yeah. Today's agenda, to discuss how to prop up the wages of the lower income groups in society. If I may use an analogy from uh, eating a pizza. Recently, you find a new generation of pizza shop. It's quite interesting. You go in there, you want to try out different things. You tell the chef. They can prepare differently for you. Sometimes you can even be involved in the making of the pizza yourself. And at the end of the day, you eat what you have uh, done for yourself. That probably reflects the way which our society is evolving. I think people are not just happy to have solutions, even if there are good solutions presented to them. They want to know how this solution is Develop, what were the considerations behind the development of this solution and if they can in some way participate in the process even if you don't know what are the ideas being implemented now later when I go around I will, I will go and share with you some of the things that are already done ok? Well, then, yeah. 27 year old Xiong Sheng has attended four of Mr. Chan's informal policy discussions he says these sessions provide him with information that go beyond the headlines he travels from Woodlands to Buena Vista just to try to understand the thinking behind government policies. I do have a feeling that when he listens, when he picks up these ideas, when he goes back to design policies and design policies, I believe that he actually do think through all these uh, inputs that he has received. And that makes me feel that uh, you, you are a stakeholder. I benefit by learning that there are actually many perspectives to any issue. And there is no perfect policy that can please everybody. So for every policy, there's always a trade-off, there's always uh, short-term and long-term consequences. And I think that's encouraging, right? It gives them direct feedback, you know, unfiltered by civil servants. It gives them the ability to explain things in their own words. And it makes politicians, it can make politicians much more authentic. And that is always very important if you want to connect with voters. Most of the time, you can see that uh, a lot of uh, intentions from the government may get uh, misunderstood throughout the process and through this new uh, informal policy dialogue when I, when I have the opportunity to interact with him directly and somewhere I ask him what I read in the newspaper etc and you can hear directly from the minister why certain policies are in place and he would actually explain and clarify it's important to, to understand how these policies are made so that we can reduce the emotional aspect when you react to these policies and think about the rationale and the logic behind it, whether it's for the long term good for the country or for yourself and definitely for your future generation. When we come back, the future generation in our Junit and Boto Posse. Find out how the winds of change have affected the two constituencies.